Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Nolan Reed and I'm from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And you are watching another Profit Tech Go and DF64P workflow video. Beans again this week are from Black Sheep Coffee Company out of Fenwick, Ontario, Canada. I picked these beans up last weekend. Absolutely amazing. I've really enjoyed these. A lot of chocolate and caramel notes. I do like a darker coarse bean or a darker roast bean, I should say. They're absolutely fantastic. I find uh, when making a latte, I like that strong, bold taste. So these have been absolutely perfect for me. I'm using the Atmos vacuum canister to keep those beans nice and fresh. It sucks all of the air out of that container and keeps it under vacuum. You'll see a little green tab that pops up there or pushes in to let me know that I have a good vacuum. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every time I post a video. If you're coming back to watch and subscribed, welcome back. Thank you very much for supporting me. Uh, I do uh, Profit Tech Go and DF64P workflow videos. I also do cafe reviews and equipment reviews. I put my, gr my beans into my DF64P grinder. As you can see, I just ran some water through the group head there. And I'll wipe off all the condensation water. I'm using a Husky Toolbench as my workbench. I find it's been perfect. Uh, it's about 48, 48 inches long, and it's nice and sturdy for all the weight of my equipment. That is my Normcore uh, WDT tool. It's perfect for making sure that you have no clumps in your beans. I'm also using the Normcore distributor and the Normcore calibrated tamper. We'll throw a puck screen on the top, keeps my group head nice and clean, and helps disperse the water across the top of the puck. I'm using an Obest scale that I picked up off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap, but it seems to be working pretty good for me. As you can tell from the color of this extraction, these beans are absolutely perfect. And after having them for a week, are still nice and fresh while using that Atmos vacuum canister. So I did 20 grams in, so I'm shooting for about 40 grams out in 30 to 35 seconds. If you actually look closely after I hit the off switch, you can actually see that portafilter jump back up again. So it runs about 150 pounds uh, through that portafilter. So it's one thing to keep into account if you ever decide to remove it and it's under pressure. It's something that I would definitely not consider. I would try to be as safe as possible. We'll wipe the scale off, keep it nice and clean. We'll toss that away. And we'll start getting ready to froth our milk. Now I use a 20 ounce pitcher to purge some of the water out of the top of my boiler. This is recommended in the Profitech Go manual. Two short bursts for about five to six seconds long, just to make room for that steam. Once again, please like and subscribe and follow along on my espresso journey. So I hit the milk with some air. That high pitched squealing is what you're looking for. Now I push that steam wand in a little bit further into the milk and you can see that nice turbulent flow pushing it around in my milk jug. This is exactly what you're looking for. So when you're finished, you should have a nice smooth paint-like consistency 
that'll help you get that nice latte art that you're looking for. Now you do have to remember, I do use 2% milk. I do find whole milk a little too strong for me. Um, I normally drink my coffee black, but when I do practice latte art, this is what I use. With that being said, you're not gonna get the same consistency that you would with a nice whole milk. As you can see, I wiped down my steam wand using a wet cloth and I turn it back on just to purge any milk out of that steam wand. I'm still new at latte art. I do find it very hard to do with 2% milk, but I am practicing. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.